The word of the day today is goodwill. Every time I say the word goodwill, a famous rock and roll institution loses literally all of theirs. The Warp Tour has announced it. They're officially coming back for a three city tour. Not so much of a tour if you ask me, and the internet had a lot to say about this situation. It turned into a bit of a drama, and you know what that means. It's time for me to pull up my bootstraps and do my job. We are gonna tear into this drama with our little gossip fists, but before we do, hey, hi, hello, Welcome, my name is Dan Frampton, and I am the originator of Freeform Intergalactic Milk Rock. Either that, or I just make home-style, old-fashioned, traditional YouTube videos. But you already know that. Comment within the first three hours, and I will reply. Just check the comments. Three Hour Gang runs this mug. Okay, gang, let's make some content. And we're gonna start at vanswarptour.com, where here it is. Yeah, it has been officially announced. Look at this beautiful graphic. Look at this big, like, neon fucking Las Vegas lights type of thing going on. When I think of the Warp Tour, I think of Las Vegas neon lights. That really makes a lot of sense to me. Now, they branded it this way because a lot of people from this demographic are going to be in Las Vegas when they announce this tour poster. But none of these dates, if you see up here, are actually in Las Vegas or Nevada at all. Washington. Long Beach and Orlando. So branding it like this is so weird right off the bat. And if you look, it's called the Vans Warp Tour, right? Tour in big blue letters. We're going on tour again. Oh, are you? Oh, okay, that well, these three dates here, that's not that's not so much of a tour. You're just doing like two shots in each city here. <laughs> what? Okay. I guess I'm just gonna pack up the wife and kids, sail across the country for my Vans Warp Tour experience. Oh, how much am I gonna pay for this kind of thing? Stay tuned, a little bit later in the video, we will be answering that all important question. But if you're looking at this and you're not so pleased, maybe you're a little bit unimpressed, non plused even, you know, you wouldn't be alone. You wouldn't be the only person in that camp. Because if we go over to Twitter, it seems like, yeah, the vibes have been ruined and we're gonna read a couple tweets starting with everybody's favorite Ronald Radkinson over here when Ronnie tweets out I find it so funny that these people complain if I'm gonna play Warp Tour when I'm literally a staple of it on top of Mayhem Festival having 23 bands on it and can't even sell 40% of the venue capacity and I do a makeup show and do double the amount of tickets on my own get ready to be upset losers all right, so we're already ruffling feathers. That's how we're gonna sell tickets to this thing. Okay, drama is gonna fuel the Warp Tour, and for that, I'm on board. But if there's gonna be drama, I have to play the counterpoint. I have to be the contrarian in this situation. But if you take a look at Ronnie Radke's wording over here, it's worded in a way to instigate. It's worded in a way to kinda get people riled up. You know, he's just doing the Ronnie Radke thing over here. But Sumerian Records replies to this and says, Hey man, Mayhem did twice the amount of tickets that your last LA Forum show did. Mayhem has never sold out Glen Halen ever in the history of the brand. It's literally the biggest amp in US. You're an amazing success story, but I don't know you gotta attack Mayhem. But that's not the reply that's making the rounds. That's not the one that everybody's quoting. Vans Warp Tour themselves fanned the flames of drama when they replied with this. Ronnie Radke, our king. You drop this crown emoji. The demographic, the people, did not like this, okay? Morio Kart comes in and says, Hey, so this is an insane hill to die on. And the quotes keep on coming. Vibes ruined. God damn it, says the GRN goddess. Pulses tweets out this gif of a monkey beating up a human being with some sort of stick like apparatus. Kooky Kev quotes Van's Warp Tour and says, How do you fuck up that fast? Age of Maxon then quote retweets it and says, I will give you a single American dollar if you delete this shit right now. Gross! I'm right there with you, Maxim. Oh, Full Blown Meltdown come out with their take on this tweet. Imagine being a staple in punk for 25 plus years, only to go out and lose every single ounce of credibility you've had in one single tweet. And every little bit 
of goodwill as well. Even though the goodwill has been lost for, I don't know, almost a decade now. 60 centimeters of steel comes in and replies to that and says, I just saved $150. Matt replies with this really funny image from TNAflix.com, quote retweeting Vans Warped Tour and saying, ah, sucking world record. And here we get to the price. I told you I was going to announce it for you. I'm not going to ruin it. If you want to go to any one of these warp Tour things, you're going to be spending $150. And also self-identified emo artist quotes that and says, they forgot the tour part of the warp Tour, LMAO. The Hard Times tweets out, all warp Tour revival stages to be moved 100 feet away from audience to comply with sex offender laws. <laughs> Good little joke, we gotta pop a like on that. I'll throw in Nick Thomas's take here just for some balance. Grown adults arguing about Warped Tour ticket prices. Why don't you wrap your hand around the pencil and fill out a damn job application? Good one, very funny. Big Tits Lizard comes out and tweets, Warped Tour coming back with only three dates. It's $150 plus tax and no lineup is absolutely ridiculous. If you're gonna charge that much, give us back an actual tour and not three dates in random parts of the country and then they attach this picture of Squidward seething and twitching. Oh My M's tweets out, Alt band members realizing most of the people going to the new Warp Tour are now of legal age. And attaches this gif of the weekend running around this room of lights all confused. State of the Scene comes out with a good take for once and says, I think the thing with these individual festivals is that the ticket price is truly just a fraction of the cost. Instead of driving for an hour to a show, now I'm paying for flight tickets, hotel rooms, and food expenses. That's why Warp Tour coming to you was so special. Yeah, that's what, well, it, was, it was a tour. It wasn't a destination event. Oogie Boogie comes in and quotes that Warp Tour tweet. I see Warp Tour firmly keeping up with their reputation of platforming users. Man, some things really do not change, do they? Daisy Joe tweets out, I don't care what anyone says, Warp Tour ended in 2018. Hickey Shamer quotes that Vans Warp Tour tweet and says, Women, please do not go to Warp Tour. It is not a safe space for you. Then the emo and cap then quote retweets that and says, but I thought these signs were supposed to make Warp Tour a safe space. And he attaches a picture of a very famous banner that Warp Tour had out in Warp Tour 2014 that read, no moshing slash crowd surfing. You mosh, you crowd surf, you get hurt, we get sued, no more Warp Tour. Oh, nothing like a good old guilt trip to not enjoy music the way that the culture has always enjoyed the music. Thanks, Warp Tour. You really jumped the shark many years before you actually folded. Uncle Beanie tweets out, Warp Tour starting at $150 is fucking insane, and attaches this meme right here. I'm not gonna describe the meme. It's on screen. You can see the meme. Ogbert the Nerd, who is like my favorite band right now, tweets out, Kinda sucks that when we were young and Warp Tour is making liking emo feel like liking Marvel, as if liking emo wasn't already f***ing embarrassing. Good point. Crockin replies to that and says, Neither of those are emo festivals though. Best Friends Forever Fest is the emo fest. Those are the scene fest and pop punk fests. Telling this to Ogbert the Nerd is a very funny thing. They obviously know that, and then they reply to that saying, You're correct, we're just speaking from more of like a coworker perspective or whatever. If you haven't checked out Ogbert the Nerd yet, Album of the Year. Worst Wishes tweets out, Warp Tour, bring this back, and attaches a tour poster of the story so far, playing with Turnover, Citizen, and Movements. Yeah, I'll take that any day of the week over Warp Tour, please and thank you. And that was everything that Twitter had to say to Ronnie Radke and the Warp Tour about Ronnie Radke and the Warp Tour. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next episode, watch another episode. Okay, see you later, and have a good one.